It's Wrestling Observer Radio, Garrett and Dave here on a Friday night. We are just a little bit inside of 24 hours away from the Royal Rumble. So why don't we start there, Dave? Any, uh, I saw Sasha showed up on SmackDown tonight, so I don't know if that means she's in the match or not, but that's great news I, because I think I think uh, I think they said she was in it. Yeah, we don't we don't get it for a couple more hours, but I think she said she was in it. Yeah. So uh, so that I mean that's that's awesome because that that women's Royal Rumble has gotten some good news via you know at least what we think is going to happen because if Ronda is in that match she brings a lot more attention to it and now if Sasha's in that match another person that you know creates a little bit of excitement for for that but who who, at this point who would you call for the winner of the women's Royal Rumble well I mean there's two schools of thought I mean there's the school of thought that you um appease your hardcore fans and that would be um Bianca Belair or Sasha Banks um or you go with the one that's going to get you the most headlines, which is obviously Ronda. And I think that's probably the one they'll go with. Because it's like, unless Ronda's in there to do an angle at the end and not be in the match, and you save her match for later, um, she shouldn't be in the match and not win, I don't think. Um, she's, uh, you know, um, she's back. I mean, she's back. She's going to be a back. She's going to be back as a regular on SmackDown, but there's probably she'll probably do some shows on Raw. I think she's going to be on Raw Monday. Um, that's kind of what I've been what's been hinted. Um, I the only thing I know is that she's not wrestling Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. So when I say SmackDown, that's probably the match everybody expects. I don't know the match. The match I was told was Becky Lynch. Mm-hmm. Um, but then her being on SmackDown doesn't make sense in that sense. But you know, I mean they. You know, her being back to appease Fox and go on, uh, you know, go on SmackDown makes all the sense in the world, you know, for Fo- all kinds got, of reasons. Fox has gotten a lot of appeasement lately. Yeah, with Brock. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brock's going to be on more. Um, well, look, you know, it's like. No matter what, it's very important that they have two networks interested in them mm-hmm. to get that next deal up, you know, Um because that's the one thing that that's the big advantage that they have over AEW, which as far as we know, you know, I mean, they may have other people interested, but not at the level of Warner. You know, like, like, you know, I mean, and there's almost no one to go. I mean, like Fox is going to probably stay with, with I mean, Fox isn't going to go to AEW. I mean, you could argue they should, but they won't. Um, but um, and USA is not going to make a move for sure. So you've got. um so they're taken care of. That's basically NBC Universal and uh, Fox. So you're you're talking about like, you know, a CBS thing, which isn't going to get into pro wrestling. You know, the network isn't going to get into pro wrestling, and their cable CBS Sports Network isn't isn't going to pay. I mean, they're not even going to be in that league. Um, I know Showtime expressed interest before. Um, I can't imagine HBO, although it wouldn't be the worst idea from an HBO standpoint. But I don't think they would do it. Um, and, you know, obviously, so you've got Warner Media, you know, with uh, AEW, if they, you know, choose to go with it and how, you know, it's it's going to be an interesting, you know, again, that's actually the bigger story because WWE, we know, is going to get like a big rights increase or or at least giant rights, whatever it is. Even if it's not a big increase and it stays the same. That's still a giant number. Whereas AEW, you know, it it. uh you know, I mean, that we, we, you know, and we're not that far away. I mean, it seems like, you know, when when that thing in 2000, you know, early 2000. So, it's, you know, when 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 they signed that deal, you know, it seemed like, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's whatever. It was a, it's a four year deal. And it's like it's nothing to even think about. Well, here we are. It's two years later. And it's like and the deal's not, you know, a year away, essentially. So. So, I mean, the whole thing with AEW, like, is is like it's it's uh, they got to really. Uh, make sure that they peak those numbers at the latter stages of this year, because that's what they're going to be judged on. And, and I'll tell you what, like, you know, as so you can tell from the, the article that I did in uh, that move, that move sure helped them a lot. I mean, it, it's, it's almost staggering how much it helped them, especially um, when it comes to future viewers, um, whether if they can keep these people, of course, um, you know, because it's still early. I mean, they got a lot of new eyeballs on them, this month 
Um, but how long those eyeballs will stay or will those eyeballs grow? You know, I mean, that's obviously going to be the uh, the big story for them this year. Yeah, we'll get to that article uh, in a second here. Um, uh, also, also want to mention um, there's let's see, there's a bunch of names that, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Melina Perez and people who are in town is how it's Ari- Ariani. So. Um, I was told Cameron Ariani. Andrew. So, so uh Cameron was a wrestling name. Um, Celeste Bonin, who was Caitlin, and um, Sarah Logan, Sarah Rowe, um, are all in town. Um, Melina and Ariani are, are, you know, we're definitely slated for the Rumble. Um, I can't imagine why Caitlin would be in town for any other reason. And um, I presume, you know, I would say the same with Sarah Logan, but no one's confirmed to me she's in the Rumble, just that she's there. With, it's not like she's there on vacation and just happened to be spotted or something. She's there with WWE because mm-hmm. I know it's WWE people who told me, hey, she's there. So she's there in affiliation with WWE. And um, Kurt Angle is as well. I don't know that he's in the Rumble either, but he's definitely there. So, um, yeah, lots of people on um, Yoshirai and um, Champa and a lot of those other people are, are around. Um, but, you know, again, and the thing with this year's rumble is, you know, before I would say, you know, it's 30 people, right? You need, you need 34, 35 people because, you know, people may show up sick and, um, and be pulled out. So you need that backup. I mean, you can't go with 30 people this year. Going back to Rhonda for a second. Uh, do you have any idea how, how long she's back for a year? is the deal from what I heard. So it, theoretically she could be past WrestleMania and then some if, Oh no, I think, I think I, from what my understanding, it, it, it's, it's, I, I don't know that she's going to be there every week, but my understanding is it's not just like a, a match at the rumble and then a WrestleMania match and then gone. It's, it's more than that. Got it. Got it. So I yeah. mean, it, you would think, like at least to me, it makes so much sense to redo Ronda and, and Becky again because you do need the main event on that first night if Lesnar and Reigns are, are the second night main event. And th- I don't think they can do a bigger match than Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. Um, yeah, well, the other one would be Seth Rollins and Big E, you know, if Seth wins the title. Um, and if I don't not, think that's as big. No, I don't either. I don't either. Yeah. So that would be... Um, yeah, that, and you know, the other thing is, is I, I, I haven't heard ticket sales, but I mean, no matter what, I mean, even if ticket sales have moved a little bit since the last I heard, I mean, you're still talking like, you know, a lot of tickets they, they would need to move, you know, if they really wanted to come close to selling out those two nights, actually the Saturday had the bigger advance than the Sunday, you know, because, but, but the Lesnar match is on the Sunday, but no one knows that. So whatever it was, the Saturday ticket was a quicker selling ticket. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.